and more on commodities market here. High price for the liquefied petroleum gas, otherwise known as cooking gas, may cloud Nigeria's journey to net zero as many Nigerians are restored resorting to wood and charcoal for cooking. Today on Commodities Market Update, we will be talking about charcoal and the implications of the change in demand pattern. Lawrence Messi, research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company, will take us through that. Hello, Lawrence. Good afternoon. Well, Nigerians are experiencing a consumption shift from cooking gas to alternative sources like charcoal and kerosene. What are the implications of this change in demand pattern, considering that the focus of the world's leadership is centered at sustainability and climate change? Well, good morning. It's great to be here. I'd like to approach this under two main factors, uh, the first being the economic and the second being the environmental. So under the economic, um, the increased demand in charcoal will inevitably result in an increase in price of charcoal. And uh, as you've seen, the price of charcoal has actually increased by almost 100% from uh, about 1,500 to about 2,500, uh, 3,000. And then the second economic factor would be the effect it will have overall on inflation figures, even though we've seen inflation figures fall consecutively for the past um, three, four months. Um, we could see a negating trend if these LPG and charcoal prices continue. Now, under the environmental factors, basically this is going to have a, an interactive joint effect on climate. First is the fact that coal is the largest um, emitter of CO2 and greenhouse gases amongst other fossil fuels. That's one. So the increased usage in charcoal will only just increase Nigeria's emission of, of, of greenhouse gases. And the second thing is that due to increased demand for charcoal, there would be increased felling of trees and increased burning of woods, which would only add to deforestation. And deforestation is one of the primary um, uh, factors aiding in Nigeria's uh, inability to meet its uh, sustainability goal. So we have continued uh, CO2 emissions and then deforestation, which now exposes us to the harshness of climate change. As you mentioned, the price of a bag of charcoal has doubled over the past year from a 1,500 to about 3,000, and quantities sold in some regions uh, have also increased by almost 400%. This all but shows the cross elasticity between LPG and charcoal. What is the outlook for demand for charcoal, and are, are there any alternatives to the usage of charcoal? Well, the Alternatives to charcoal are mainly LPG and kerosene, and uh, LPG prices, as we've seen, have been rising since the last year, and kerosene is not exempt from this. Kerosene has also actually been rising quite fast, and most of the domestic um, kerosene stoves have only a capacity of three liters, and kerosene is currently at about 400 naira per liter, so it's not even quite sustainable for households. So these other two substitutes are increasing in price, which leaves charcoal as the cheapest alternative. And in terms of the outlook for demand, well, um, LPG prices have been rising because of a couple of factors, which are uh, the VAT increase to 7.5, um, the devaluation of the Naira. Why this is important is because Nigeria actually imports about 60% of all its LPG. It's not able to meet demand locally. And so the devaluation has increased the landing costs and the final selling costs to consumers. So when you look at all of this, until these um, factors themselves reverse, then I don't really see any reversal in the demand patterns for charcoal in the near future. Now, five African leaders spoke at the COP26 conference on climate change, where they highlighted the need for developed nations to fulfill their climate finance and promises to Africa. This switch in demand to charcoal in Nigeria negates the stance of the government in relation to uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and being environmentally sustainable, considering that um, Gabon, has already experienced financial benefits and international recognition for being environmentally sustainable. What can Nigeria do at this juncture to limit this trend in charcoal consumption? 
I feel like um, a two-step approach would uh, would be feasible, and this would be education and collaboration. So under education, um, it would be important for them to educate a lot of um, the mass on the dangers of um, excessive use of charcoal and its impact on the environment. Because as we know, the majority of the rural population are those who actually use charcoal for cooking instead of LPG. So education would be the first step, which would be to get them on board and to also build up the demand for LPG. And then the second step being collaboration, which would I would suggest we have a two-phased approach, and that would center around restructuring the, the overall oil and gas industry to maximize extraction of LPG. And then the second being invitation uh, in order to develop a, an investment-friendly environment for more private investors into the LPG. Because as we've seen, NLNG is actually the sole producer, size itinerary um, domestic producers of, L, of L, LPG. And they account for only 40%. The balance of 60% is met by imports. So we need to eliminate those imports by bringing in more private investment to the sector so as to ensure that local demand is satisfied locally through um, production. I, I believe that with this, there would be uh, an adequate phasing out of charcoal and uh, promotion of the use of LPG. All right, thank you very much uh, for your time, Lawrence. We do appreciate it. Thank you.